Okay guys, time for another review. This time I've been playing Reversal Challenge for the Nintendo DS. I just want to take this time to thank everyone who's subscribed so far, it really means a lot to me. Also, I am up for requests, so if you want me to review a particular DS game, just leave the name in the comment box and I will take a look at it. Okay, back to the review. The best way to describe Reversal Challenge is a cross between Tetris and the board game Othello. In the game of Othello, or Reverse Sign as you might know it, you and your opponent takes turns to place a colour tile on the board. The objective is to place your coloured disc adjacent to one of your opponent's coloured discs, so that your coloured discs are on either side of theirs. Once you've done this, you flip the two coloured sided discs to their other sides that have opposite colours on either side of them. The objective of the game is to fill the board with as many as your colours you can. Got it? Well, if not, I'll leave a link in the description box on a tutorial on how to play Othello if you are interested. Anyways, Reversal Challenge is the same concept, except the game follows a Tetris-like drop-in system, but personally I would just much rather play the real Othello. Since there is no online mode, all your matches will either be against a CPU or a friend who also has this game. Playing with a friend is obviously a more rewarding experience, but due to the lack of popularity for Reversal Challenge, I say good luck in finding someone who also has the game. So that leaves a CPU, and as I played against it, it just felt really redundant. Othello is a game all about strategy and logic, and it defeats the purpose of the competition if you're just playing against AI. There are three modes, Basic, Advanced and Puzzle. Basic is, well, the basic game. Advanced gives you the ability to use power-ups. There's the Fireball and Lightning power-ups, which you can use to destroy some tiles. A hand, which shifts the tiles in the bottom row. And, uh, uh, well, I couldn't work out what it was, but it drops three of your coloured tile at once. You earn cash after you beat a stage, which you can use to upgrade your power-ups, but honestly, I didn't feel any incentive to do so, as the game is just the same thing over and over again. The only variation you get is the puzzle mode, where you have to turn all the tiles white in three flips. There's no reward for this though, and I got bored after two puzzles. The game's design and structure bears a very similar resemblance to Polar Rampage, and this makes sense because they're both made by the same developer. Whilst I found Polar Rampage fun to play, Reversal Challenge was just laborious. It may have some redeeming qualities if you like Othello, but even if you did, you would just be much better playing the real thing. That and that you lose screen was just freaky. You lose. I'm sorry Cyber Planet Interactive, I have to give Reversal Challenge a 3 out of 10.